Park City voters have once again rejected a bond proposal that would have funded a new school building for grades 7 through 12. The final tally last night was 627 against and 334 for. The vote for improvements to the elementary school also failed by almost the exact same margin. It's the fourth time in seven years that a school bond has failed in Park City, with the most recent being last May when the district asked for just under $17 million total. Superintendent Dan Grabowska lowered the price tag by almost $2.5 million this go-around in what he called the lowest they could make it. The district has little recourse to pay for improvements other than raising property taxes. This bond would have raised taxes on a $200,000 home by $463 a year. Earlier this month, outgoing state Senator David Howard sent a letter to residents urging them to vote against the bond. Grabowska said he believes that letter played a big part in the final outcome.